Okay, so this is a demonstration of using a nasal spray and making it into a nasal solution for insulation in your nose. Um, I'll just go ahead and start. What you need is a shot glass, it's a regular shot glass, um, your nasal spray, whichever brand of medication or whichever type of medication your doctor wants you to use. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this, but Clean Nose, this is a, a saline uh, ampule. I don't care which brand you would use. I like it in this kind of form where you have the saline in kind of a syringy looking thing. It's all sterilized. Uh, I found this on the drugstore.com website. Pretty reasonably priced. There are, again, there are other brands of this, whichever works for you. C-L-E-A-N-O-Z. But again, um, I think Neil Med, a company called Neil Med, makes something similar. Anyway, so you need this, the nose spray, and the shot glass. I'm going to put this down for a second. So here's the shot glass. And what we're going to use the shot glass for is to kind of accept the nasal spray. I'm going to squirt four times or however much your doctor wants you to use into the shot glass. You want to kind of lean it or tilt it up because you know no sprays won't work like that so you have to do this okay so I got the nasal spray misted on the sides of this shot glass now I'm going to take my saline ampule and I'm going to go in and out with this I'm going to squirt it in there trying to get all the cloudy material off the side of the glass and what you're going to end up with by the end of this is your saline mixed with the nasal spray medication and then again you don't have to get every drop this is not rocket science I just want to get most of the medicine off the side of the glass and what you're going to end up with is in a second, I'll show you. If you can see that, most of the medicine is inside with the saline in this syringe type device. And you can see what's nice about this, nothing really comes out. You can see why that's important in a second. So now, uh, Will, follow me into our bedroom. And I think uh, this is the best way to do them. You could go backwards to get yourself upside down but I like the idea of going forwards I think it's more comfortable the idea is you want to get yourself completely upside down so that gravity can help this medication get up into your sinuses as best as possible um, I want you to try to get the crown of your head parallel to the floor and I'll go ahead and do this and you'll see what I'm talking about on the floor are the things we need are a pillow and then on top of the pillow is a towel and you can see in a second why you need the towel so again uh, this looks very complicated it really isn't once you get the hang of it this is going to take you a couple of minutes in the evening okay so I'm about to get on my bed now I want to get myself completely the head completely upside down and what I tell people is to just look make believe you're looking under the bed looking for your cat or whatever else might be under your bed like this you want to be completely upside down okay now I'm going to take the solution and put it about half on each side okay now put it on the other side I'm going to try to sit here for a minute but I'm feeling too dizzy uh, it's possible just keep going um, just for the sake of time for, with this video, I'm going to say I've been here for a minute. Then, I'll say a minute went by. Now, maybe try to tilt a little bit to the side. Maybe you'll get some of the solution to your maxillary sinus doing it that way. Maybe count to 15. Maybe do it another 15 seconds, tilting your head this way. And then you're pretty much done. Any uh, much longer time than this, you'll probably start getting dizzy. So. I'm ready to come up, and you'll see why we need a towel in a second. Okay, the stuff comes out on your towel, not on your pillow. And that's it. Thanks for watching.